What's up guys, it's T2 and today I'm going to be reviewing the Monoprice Select Mini 3D Printer. In this review, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of this machine, some details and specs, the build quality and the actual performance. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give this machine a score out of 10. To start off, let's go over with the cons first. Since this is a mini 3D printer, it is more compact and small. Therefore, the x-axis only has one supporting point, which is the left beam of the printer. This results in some flexing, but it doesn't really affect the print since there are minimal forces going against the extruder. However, if this is on an x-carve, it will be unacceptable because there are forces going against each other by the router bit carving the wood. The other problem with this machine is that there are some system crashes and irresponsive commands. I've had this printer for about 5 months now and I've printed quite a few things on it already but during these times sometimes the system will crash and not let me stop in the middle of the print instead the x and y axes will move in the same direction and get stuck and the filament would get jammed or the system will crash completely which I have to reboot them to let them function normally again. But other than that, that will be it for the cons for this printer. The pro for this printer is obviously that it is very cheap considering that it is only about $200. And that is probably why you clicked on this video because you did some research before and now you want to see the review video. Thinking in that perspective, everyone should own a 3D printer since it's becoming so affordable. Even some normal printers out there right now in our world is more than $200. And with this $200, there's a lot to pack into this machine. Out of the box you'll get the printer itself of course, the filament holder, an AC power adapter, the AC power cord, a micro USB cable, a micro SD card, a plastic bed scraper, bed loving hex wrench, and a sample PLA filament. The printer has a metal hot and single extruder with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and a maximum print speed of 55 millimeters per second. It accepts 1.75 mm of PLA and ABS filaments. This printer also features an insulated heat bed, which not all 3D printers have. The heated bed let the prints have a better adhesion to the bed, making the base of the print stable, resulting in a good quality print. The build area for this printer is 4.7 inch by 4.7 inch by 4.7 inch. It's not that big, but it's not as small as you think it is. The connectivity of this printer includes Wi-Fi, micro SD card, and USB. However, I've never used the Wi-Fi system before, I only use the micro SD card. I think that's easier and faster way to import your models to the printer. And plus, you have to set up the whole Wi-Fi system thing, which I don't want to because I'm lazy. The printer has a 3.7 IPS color screen, which looks like a touch screen, but it's not. But what can you expect from a $200 3D printer? But anyway, it's very nice to have a color screen on this printer. The interface of the printer looks clean and simple, and the setup for the printer is fairly easy. It can essentially print straight out of the box. The build quality of this machine feels really premium and the black finish and all metal construction just looks professional and there's two available colors, there's white and black. The overall dimensions of this printer is 13.5 inch by 11.3 inch by 7.5 inch which does not take up a lot of space on your desk or workspace. It is quite heavy, weighing at about 4.5 kilograms or 9.9 pounds. For the print quality, I would say this machine is a beast and it's so worth your money. I printed this cat right here straight out of the box without any adjustments and it came out pretty awesome. The lines and the details are very clear. You can adjust the print speed of this printer up to two times and here you can see the difference of the normal print speed and two times print speed. There's no obvious difference, but you can definitely feel the smoothness of the print. However, considering that this is printed at twice the speed, it still performs really well. For the ultimate print test, I hooked up the machine with the screw model. As you can see, there are a lot of fine detail on this model and you can clearly see each individual particle. The lines and the fine roots just looks amazing. But of course, there are also even more amazing prints that can be created by higher priced 3D printers like the Ultimaker and MakerBot Replicator. However, I would definitely say that this model price 3D Select Mini printer is above average. If you're just starting to 3D print right now or if you just want to experiment and play around with 3D printing, I would definitely recommend this 3D printer because of its cheap price and the above average quality print. To conclude, I would give this printer a 9 out of 10 considering its build quality, the print quality, and the price. For the system crashes and the irresponsive commands, I would accept that because it doesn't happen really that often 
and there's nothing much more to expect from a $200  3D printer. As I said before, there are a lot of things that is getting packed into this machine, like the color screen and the connectivity, which I think is additional features for this printer, which I really enjoy, but for $200, that is a lot of things that you get. Well, that sums up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I post out videos every two weeks on Thursday. Like this video if you enjoy it. Share the video to people who need help or want to review this machine. If you want to get the printers, all the links will be included down in the description below. And as always, stay fresh and keep making.